These are some of the ingredients we're going to use for today's meal prep. These are also the ingredients I use for the creamy vegan pasta that I made and I will link it down below. We're going to start off by grating all the vegetables and this is honestly the worst part and I suggest making a double batch or making at least enough so that you can save it in the freezer. That way you can just heat them up and eat it whenever you want it instead of going through this whole process. I use about three carrots, a fourth of a squash, two zucchinis, and then a whole onion. You can really do whatever amounts you want. I just always make sure that there's enough in the bowl that I can make stuff for my meal prep and have some extra. After you're done grating everything, you're going to want to heat up some olive oil in a pan, add in some garlic and let that cook a little bit, and then add all your grated vegetables to the pan. Then we're going to chop up some fresh parsley and add it to the mixture. There's no right amount, I just do about a handful. That's the fun part of cooking, there's no exact measurements, you just do what you want. Since we're making these vegan, we're going to do a flax meal egg, which is just one tablespoon of flax meal and two and a half tablespoons of cold water. And you just let that sit and it will become like a thick consistency and then you can add it into your mixture. It kind of looks gross. You could always just use a regular egg. It's not that big of a deal. These will still be super healthy. While the flax egg is setting, we're going to add two and a half cups of oats to the bottom of our bowl. And then we're going to put our cooked vegetables right back on top of them and just let them sit there for a little bit so that the oats can soften. Once the oats start to soften a little bit, that's when I start seasoning. I use Flavor God everything on this one and then some salt and pepper. You can put whatever you want in here. After about five minutes, your flax eggs should get to this kind of consistency and you can just add that into the mixture. Again, you could always just use a regular egg too. And then mix everything up. I like to sprinkle some hemp seed hearts in the veggie burger mix as well because they really have no flavor and they're good for you, so might as well add them in. Now we're ready to make the burgers. Heat up some olive oil in a pan. We're going to use these panko breadcrumbs to sprinkle on top for a little bit of a crunch. Just start forming your burgers. Put five at a time, or as many as your pan can hold, and then sprinkle some of the panko breadcrumbs on top. I take the veggie burgers that I didn't cook yet and put them on some parchment paper and then keep them stored in the freezer to use whenever I feel like having a veggie burger. And this is what it looks like when they're done. You can obviously cook to whatever consistency you want. And in the meantime, we're going to start preparing our mushrooms. I wash and scrub the top of all of them. Then I just add some garlic, drizzle some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, add thyme, parsley flakes, lemon flavor god seasoning, and then after I mix all that together, I put little chunks of the vegan butter on top and do all this on an aluminum foil lined pan to help clean up easier. Now we're going to make the sauce for the veggie burgers. I put a clove of garlic, a full avocado, a fourth a cup of pistachios, some olive oil, a little bit of water, salt and pepper, all into the blender or food processor, whatever this thing is called, and blend it all together. Add more water depending on the kind of consistency you like. Next we're going to make our rice. I just used the leftover of this harvest grain blend I had from Trader Joe's as well as some brown rice. And then don't let the pan overflow. I saw somewhere if you put a wooden spoon over top it doesn't overflow but I usually only remember that once it's overflowing. Once the rice is done then just season it however you like. I use two different kinds here because just to switch it up for flavor. I put my sauce in a container and then put some plastic wrap on top to help prevent it from getting brown as quick. Most of the time, halfway during the week, I'll make another batch just because it's either gone or it turns brown. And then you're done. I just made some peas in the microwave real quick to fill in where I didn't have enough mushrooms. That's pretty much it though. You just microwave it, put the sauce on top, and you're good to go. This definitely isn't the easiest meal prep because of all the grating you have to do, but if you have some time to put into it, it's totally worth it and delicious. I hope this video was helpful and I will leave the full recipe in the description box below.